What is up everyone and welcome to this video. It is going to be a Q&A video, which I actually really enjoy doing. I love them Q&A videos. It's been a while since we did them. I love them because you just engage with people, answer people's questions. They're normally like very informative because you talk about a lot of different topics and you answer questions that people have directly on camera like that. They're just fun and you guys can ask whatever in the world you want. Yeah, whatever. so let's take more questions than this one. Uh, in the comment section of this video, it'll be a Q&A with the four of us, the two other twins that we have. So we're actually quadruplets, we're actually the Mickelson quadruplets, and we're going to be introducing them to the channel. Should we put a picture on the screen of the, the, the Mickelson quadruplets? Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's not actually that. It's our girlfriends, okay? So we're going to do a video with them, because I know people have actually asked questions, one, about them, but mostly about things with relationships and entrepreneurship, because sometimes they can collide. People have asked questions about that, about that, so we'll do a video together, answer questions, ask them down below if you'd like to. Hashtag ask a twin. Again, like we'll, we answer every single question, yeah. every single one. Well, hold on, with a cue, with a couple's one, it could get intense. Um, let's see how intense people but can make it. Let's get in the Q and A video. Yes, we let's have this 19 questions. 19 questions. These yeah. were taken about like two weeks ago. I just briefly looked through them. This is yeah, yeah. This is just from the comment section of a recent video. Or else it's just off the top of the head. Yeah. So first question, get right into it from A C Zito. Mm -hmm. Can you guys do a vlog? Yes. Yes. We have a few vlogs on our channel. Not that many. Probably we some from Hawaii. We have some from six. Bali. What do we have? Like, like one six, from Bali. Maybe six vlogs on our channel. Um, they're normally not the most informative. They're more just like for fun and entertainment. Which is uh, why we don't do them. I, I want to have information to provide. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, and but I say the biggest reason is I'd like to do it. If you guys but, want it, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. But it's so much work. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's so much work, which can segue us into this next thing. We have a full-time camera guy joining the squad. Uh, we're f he's from Vancouver. We're flying him to Bali. He's going to be living with us full-time. He's just like a camera guy now. So we can vlog 24-7. Let's not use too much time to answer okay. that question. Yeah. Um, so I'm just pumped But it's that. so much work, and he's going to handle all the video editing, all the camera work, and I cannot wait. And he's really good. The quality of everything on our channel and the frequency is gonna go through the roof oh yeah because we've been slacking on frequency we're gonna go up the frequency up the quality i'm really excited mm -hmm. next question from lou ka oh i want to say one thing about the vlog so we're going to croatia in june we might be doing a 30-day daily vlog thing that's what i want to do at least if our camera guy's name is dane can handle it and if you guys want it and, and, but it'll be informative and shit like that yeah so next question from lou space ka Hashtag ask a twin. I heard ACX is flagging foreigners. Mm -hmm. What does it mean and what in practice is happening? So yes, ACX is flagging foreigners. And the reason being in the ACX terms of service, it says that you must be a resident of the US, UK, Canada, or Ireland to be able to publish on ACX. So you could still join ACX, but it's technically against the terms of service. Uh, so yeah, they're flagging foreigners. But there is a workaround, a very easy workaround. Uh, it is simply to s open a US-based LLC. LLC stands for Limited Liability Corporation. It's a business entity based in the US. Anyone in the world can start it. So then your publishing, your ACX publishing business goes through this US LLC and not through you. But, and then completely illegal. I want to say, we don't know what you just said now to be like the solution as 100% fact. Because I've also heard something about there's been some LLC problems. So before we make a video, uh, we want to make a video talking about it in depth, exactly what to do. I just want to have all the facts exactly straight. I'm 90, and like confirm with everyone. I'm 99% certain. So I was just saying that we will have a video in the future when we know the facts. Yeah, exactly. You know. So next question from Feed Photo One. Hi guys, I would like to know when you do top to bottom approach, comma bundle. Okay. So this is this is something taught in another publishing course, something that we never talk about and have never talked about before. So no, we don't talk about that. How do you know the range for the second step of the pyramid? Does not apply. Everyone says how to start, but no one had to scale. I got it from micro keyword, where you start from, but how do you choose the most profitable, bigger, or mid keyword? I have no idea. So what you're this talking. is. I have no listen, idea. What, listen, no, let me talk for once. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> this is an example of a question that we probably shouldn't answer, but we say we answer every single question, every single one. Hope I've explained myself. No. Thank you for being so informative. 
and share so much with us. At least one of us is Send love to you, XO. You're very kind and yeah. sweet, yeah. but I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the bottom up approach is. I've heard no, it, but no, I don't know what The bottom up approach is something taught in another Kindle publishing course. I know. So I know about the bottom up approach, but I never followed it myself, and I don't believe in it I know either. nothing about it. So sorry. Yeah. It's, it's not necessary to use yeah. at all. Um, I will do this next question. Okay. Um, from Kanchan Kumar Bakat. Hashtag ask a twin. How much time will it take to start making some real money since Amazon payouts are like two months? So you mentioned Amazon payouts are like two months. Can I answer the question? I like uh, people need to clean up their grammar. Doesn't make sense, but I know what you mean. Um, so but when you first invest money and then when you get it back, about four months. Four months. Yes, four that's months. what I was gonna say. That turnaround time from making money back on the money that you invested. So the first four months are hard, and then after that, now you're getting paid every single month and yeah. you're good. The first four yeah. months are, are the hardest for yeah. sure. So let's but after that, you're getting paid every single month. Right. And that's just well, that's exactly. just a part of it. We went through the four month period where like, it feels like money's low and then all of a sudden it comes back. You're like, okay, we're yeah. good. Quickly explain it. So the first two months is how long it can take to produce the book. And then the next month you make your first sales. And then in the fourth month is when you get paid for those mm -hmm. sales that you made in the previous month. So that's when you get the money back from the beginning. It's just how it is. Yeah. All right, next question from William Polly. What are some of the best marketing strategies? So it depends, are you talking about publishing or in business general? in general? Let's answer both. Let's answer both. So for publishing, there's two big ones. I think the big one is AMS ads. Yeah. Also known yeah. as AA ads now. Yes. And um, so we've been like super massive. AA ads, absolutely massive. When it goes to AA ads, we've been pretty like, we haven't been focusing that much on it. Yeah. Right? We've but, been saying that for a while. But right now, I'm taking it super seriously because we're actually in the process of creating Audiobook Income Academy 2.0. It's just, it's a remake of the first remake. one. Remake, this is not a remake. It's a fucking way better, oh, yeah. like, remake sound. Makes but it's it technically a remake. Thumbs it down. In terms of like, everyone in 1.0 upgrades to 2.0 for free. So it's not like we're just charging people over again. But it's just making the product 10 times better. And oh my God, I won't sit here forever and talk about Real quick, let's, let's play the intro video. Boom, look at that. That shit is so yeah. official. That's just the branding aspect. That's so just that has nothing to do with the information, but the branding is great. You guys will learn much more, but what the so reason why I'm better. saying this is because I'm I'm taking the time to become an AA ads, I don't know about expert, yeah. but to learn a lot about it so we can then present it in the course. Yeah. As best as we can. We talk so. a lot about it because it's a massive part so of AA ads, marketing. Best and, marketing strategy for publishing. And then the second other one is SEO. SEO and just marketing your books listing. Yeah. Okay, and now that could be a whole other discussion. But it's really, yeah, AA ads and SEO. And then best marketing strategies in general, uh, similar advertising, now paid ads, Facebook ads, things like that, other marketing things. It comes down to SEO. My again. answer is this. Uh -huh. I think YouTube is the best marketing oh, strategy in the world. Oh, yeah. YouTube, because it's free. Way That's where we Instagram. get all of our attention, customers, clients, whatever you want to call it, uh -huh. yeah. all from YouTube. YouTube is amazing. Um, and it, it, could, it could work for like any business in the world, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just a very broad question, but that answers it briefly. Opinion. Next question from C Dog: Wanting to move to Bali later this year. Fucking epic. We leave on June 13th. I met up with C Dog for a good night of pool. Yes. Yeah. In Sydney. It's good. We played three games. I think I won two. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. In Sydney. Yeah. In Sydney. His name's Sid. Yes. Guess that. <laughs> Um, if it's not too much of a hassle, can you create a mini document on Excel or something of your expenses for the typical week slash month? Uh, food, rent, drinks, and so let's let just be, talk about to it. To be honest, it. I'm, I can't create a document, but we'll talk about it right now. We'll gladly talk about it. So expenses here are very, very, very low compared to 99% of the rest of the world. Because uh, this is a third world country, so cost of living is really, really low. Okay. So that's how we're able to live in this, literally a villa mansion. Nowhere else in the world other than Southeast Asia. Can but we, we pay quite here. a lot. Uh, compared to what it is, we pay very little. The rent on this villa is 3,300 a month. It's 3,500. 3,500? The price or the strength of USL has gone down. It's now 3,500. Okay. Uh, and then electricity every month is super expensive. So $4,000 a month. Yeah. But like in America, this place would cost 15, 20K a month. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then food is super cheap. Like, there's a big range. There's Western food here, and then local food. Local food is the cheapest shit. I spend ever about think. it's insane. Seven hundred bucks a month on food, I think. Uh, yeah, because we, we eat good. We yeah, eat well, good yeah. we spend a lot of food and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so the Western food here. What I spend the most on is living and food. Those are the two things that I want to have much yeah. on. Everything else I don't really need. But here, a local food, you can eat a full meal. Uh, it's for like anywhere between one and three dollars and then entertainment. We don't really spend much on entertainment a few hundred bucks So all in all monthly expenses each is like Two thousand. It's like three thousand. That's okay. high. Holy shit. That's yeah, high. I mean, but luckily but we, you can live for uh, Definitely under a thousand. Oh easily You, easily. Could, you could do 800 and live. Okay. I'm not, saying, you, I'm not saying you're balling out you but could, 800 to be good So your girlfriend's rent she has another room is 100 euros a month to put into perspective. Yeah, okay Now is it room in a house, but yeah, it really cheap here is the answer yeah. You'll save money just by moving here yeah. then see dog next question a quick overview of your visa for Bali Yes, so we're on the visa on arrival visa which as it, the name uh, shows you get it when you arrive in Bali so you land uh, then you get the visa. Everyone gets it, which is 30 days. Then you can extend it for 60 days. Visa on arrival, 60 days. And we leave the country every 60 days. Yeah, you have to fly out and come back. All right, next question from LADT. Hi, how do you write audiobooks yourself? Can you please describe the entire process? One of our most recent videos was how do you write books yourself for free? Mm -hmm. Or if you have no money, how do you write books? And like, you're asking as if there's some like secret hey. process. There's no se secret process. It's open up a Word document and start <laughs> writing. Start writing. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, next question from Carlos Guerrero. That's it. Yeah. Carlos Guerrero, he left a few questions. Here's the first one. Hey, gay, hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Sorry. Slip. Sorry if I, uh, sorry if I'm making too many questions, but I really want to make this work. In one of your videos, you spoke with Suraj, legend, about building a personal brand. So my question is, how can a complete beginner start to build a personal brand with zero experience about it? There's already confusion because we did not talk about personal brand. A personal brand is a brand about yourself. Yeah. This was a book brand. Yeah. And if you have some videos on a YouTube channel that you can recommend us to start making our personal brand from zero, guys, thanks a lot for you. So are you asking about the sewage brand or a personal brand? They're completely different. So we'll answer a personal brand. So so well, sewage has a publishing brand. It's nothing to do with a personal brand. Yeah. Watch Sewage's video about that. And then, again, that's a very in-depth topic. But a personal brand, how you start, a personal brand is a brand about yourself. You, you your face, your Step name. Step one. Your, your Step hands. one is to put yourself out there and make videos. It's social media. Personal like, brand is all social media. That's what it is. Um, Sorry for the bad answer, it's, but... It's a great answer. It gets started on social media. Okay. Like, that's the fun. thing is, people ask questions expecting secrets. We tell them the real answers. Yeah. A lot of the times, it's like, you just have to get started. And then you're doing... Your okay, how do you get started? Make your first YouTube video. That's the actual step I'm telling you to, to do. To do a personal brand? Yeah. Yeah. But what I do, make an introduction video talking about yourself and what you do and yeah. what you want to accomplish. Will it get a there. lot of views? No, but that's okay. That's the start. Then you're going to come from on camera. Next question from Zeitgeist. Uh, how many in inches of passive income does it take to truly satisfy a woman? So uh, you talked about that I for mean, a long time. That depends on the woman is the answer. Mm -hmm. So five inches of passive income. I think income five is inches of is passive income will we'll get it done. We'll get it done. For 99% of cases. Ideal is 12 to 16 <laughs> of passive income is what I think. Yeah. But yeah, um, it depends on the woman. Next question from 360 Tech Gad. Hi guys, you always talk about VA and it's part of your process, but I have a lot of questions like where to find them, what to ask them, how much they cost, etc. I'm making my own promotion without the VA. It's hard, but I really don't know what exactly ask them. I, I hate these questions, I have such bad grammar. So can you make a video just about the VA? I know that you already have a VA video, but it was not very important information to take. I don't, what do you mean? Thanks, it. it was a great video. It was talking about a manager. Yeah. But yeah, um, so VA. You have to be more specific with your questions. Though. Yeah. Because talk about a VA. VA, are you talking about gathering reviews? Are you talking about like a manager who runs your business? Uh, like for gathering reviews, using a VA is a method that you can use one that we've used in the past, but one that we don't recommend to people. And going forward, it's especially with some of the things that have happened recently, we definitely not recommend it. There's better ways to build a long-term sustainable business. You just need to focus on abiding to the terms of service, whether that's Amazon or ACX. Mm -hmm. On Amazon, any sort of review, swapping thing is completely off limits, which is why we don't do it at all. I'm following the rules 100%. But on ACX, the rules are much more... What's it called? Lenient? Lenient. Mm -hmm. 
So if you want to follow the actual terms that are in there, you could get it. Because, like, what is a friend and family? Codes are used for getting reviews, and you're allowed to give them to friends or family. That's a whole different subject, and that's the best I can answer your question. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to answer these questions, because they're just like, they're questions that are like, tell me everything about publishing. But there's, yeah, we'll move on. Next question from Carlos Guerrero again. Hi guys, I just want to know, how can I get better at finding profitable keywords? We have multiple keyword research videos on our channel. Those are all great for learning how to find profitable keywords. But we will also be doing a new one very soon as well. Yes, we will be doing so, uh, some new how-to publishing videos soon in the future because a lot has changed recently in how we publish. Those are gonna be 10 times better. Uh, wait for those. Because most of the keywords that I find aren't profitable or have really hard competition and I don't know why. What am I doing wrong? Like, I don't know what you're doing wrong. If I don't you, know what you're doing. If you watch the interview of Pierre Luigi, he says that most keywords are profitable. You just have to nail like the publishing. It's not the keyword part itself. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's probably oh, that's, why. That's, that's, that's why the, you're saying so like, no. You're saying there's no profitable keywords. Like, bro, there's that so many profitable keywords. So yeah. that's not the problem. The problem is not the keywords. The problem is you probably make sh not good books, uh -huh. bad books that bad title, bad cover, bad everything, so that no one buys them. What can I do to get better at keyword research? In AIA 2.0, we have come up with like an incredible keyword research method. Mm -hmm. I'll, I won't name it now. We'll talk about it in the future. Yeah. It's like super epic. I'm just saying. Yeah. And I'm just really excited to share it with everyone once yeah. the new course. Carlos Guerrero has two more questions. Yeah. Is it possible to make like five thousand dollars per month only with Kindle and books without audiobooks? Yes. 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 I, I made over ten thousand dollars a month without any audiobooks before I even discovered audiobooks was a thing. And also, anyone can make ten thousand dollars with just traditional publishing, which is ebook and paperback. Like, don't even, so saturation with audiobooks doesn't exist. Saturation with ebooks e doesn't and paperback doesn't exist either. Like, you can make tons of money with standard traditional publishing, but not by publishing shit. Mm -hmm. And without an email list or Facebook group or website, yes, you only can. with books published on Amazon, yes. And the key is Amazon ads, AA ads, and then a lot of really good books. All right, let me take it from here. Okay. Next question from Carlos again. Guys, do you have any video about how to run AMS ads or can you recommend some video or book? Not curses, be not curses because I don't have too much money. Oh, not oh, courses. courses, okay. And I have bought the course of Emeka and of Michael Jack only to publish books, okay. thanks. Well, so I have one very basic video. I'm not proud of it. I don't think it's that good. So I'm not going to recommend it to you. Uh -huh. um, but we will we be will. making one in the future about yeah. AA ads. So do yeah. look forward to that. I'm actually excited to talk about and it. We'll make a lot of Amazon advertising. And that'll be ads free. Videos. That'll be free as fuck. You don't have to buy a course. And we no holding back on any information. Next question from Kman22. What does your investment portfolio look like? How many streams of income do you have? Investment portfolio, I don't have any. I spend uh, investment, I invest in my business. And ourselves. Yeah. That's our investment portfolio. Yeah. Like for real. I'm serious. How many streams of income do you have? Okay, let, let's count them. Uh, publishing. Uh -huh. Course. Group coaching. Bo booster program. Group coaching. Uh, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing. There's multiple different affiliate marketing ones. Yeah. But uh, they just all fall under affiliate marketing. Yeah. And there's multiple publishing streams within the publishing. Mm -hmm. Multiple publishing businesses, mm -hmm. multiple streams in each business. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm missing something. What the hell am I missing? Oh, YouTube AdSense. YouTube AdSense. I still have merch by Amazon as well. Oh, okay. And if you like publish drive and stuff, we paid you like 700 bucks Oh, a yeah, month. yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Draft to Digital just paid me $720 the other day. Mm -hmm. I haven't touched in over a year. Over so a year. So like five or six. Yeah. Solid, I guess. Next question from Andy Varnes. I'm currently playing college basketball, so it takes up so much time along with school. Yes, I bet, yeah. That's I'm sick though. Yeah. I'm getting my first book written right now, but if I wanted to eventually do this full time, how many hours a day would I need to put in? Uh, treat it like a full time job. I like you can put in as many as you'd like, but how much you put into something will have a very strong correlation with how much you get out of it. So uh, time, time and money. I think at least five hours a day. Yeah. Seriously, like at least five hours job. a day. Because yeah. even if you don't have money to invest, you can write your own books. Yeah. Um, for example, so we got two questions left. Five hours a day. Yeah. Like it's hard work. It's mm -hmm. not easy. It's not like entrepreneurship is easy. That's why people choose to do it. The harder it's without it. It's doubt. Without it's it. It's because the reward the is just super super epic. Yeah. And it's not you stuck in a cubicle. Yeah. It's you. But in not Bali waking up whenever you want, doing whatever you want at any time. Ninety nine percent of people are not. That's made why out. I do this. Ninety nine percent of people are not made out for it though. Yeah. Time and we're going to be trying, I'm leaving for Australia in like six hours. If I had a job, I couldn't do that. For you. So yeah. that's why. Five hours a day. Okay. Thomas Reed, um, did you use Google Docs first to write your books or a different program? Uh, uh, Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word. The 
it doesn't matter. Word, pages, uh, Google Docs, it doesn't matter. You just need to get to writing. It's just you can even the, handwrite it. He's just putting the words on a page. It doesn't yeah. matter where you put it. Yeah. Good. Microsoft Word is the easiest, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, final question from Jet Parker Holland. Good name. That's a good name. Yeah. Does the style of narration affect the success of an audiobook? Yes. Um, style of narration oh. is, and quality of narration well, is probably different, but style of narration will still affect it. Yes, because I feel like most people won't want to listen to like a really heavy Irish accent. Mm -hmm. It's kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, if so, which style of narration do you think is best? It depends what you mean by style. What does style mean? Accent? Does it mean flow? Is, does it, it, fiction, mean is it fiction, nonfiction? High and low pitches? <clears throat> does it mean pitches like this? I just don't. A charismatic narration. Uh, one, one with emotion is what but, I would say. Yeah, but one that's not monotone, like welcome to this book. Let's change to like, does the quality of narration affect the success of, uh, does the quality of narration affect the success of an audiobook? Massively, massively. It's so, uh, everything is overlooked by most people when it comes to creating a high quality audiobook. Uh, and that wraps up all the questions. So, that was awesome. nice. Yeah. Woo! Um, magic emoji, not magic, secret emoji of the day. Let's just, mm, let's see. Let's see. Mm. The magnet, the <laughs> magnet, the oh, magnet yeah, emoji. Yeah, the magnet yeah. emoji of the day. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please suggest any other videos you'd like from us about any topic you'd like. Free training description, shit like that. Audio Inca Kani is lit. Audio Inca Kani 2.0 is going to be insane. Stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next video.